So, you think it's about talent? That all artists are just born with a natural gift? That you won't ever be able to do certain things in your art because you believe you have no talent? Let's have a chat about that. Whilst we do that, I'm going to show you a part of my painting process as I'm working on this bald eagle. In this painting session, I'm working on the blocking of the eye and the beak. But let's get back to this talent subject. You've probably heard it before. Oh, she's so talented. Or, oh, he's a natural born artist. But what if I told you that talent is nothing more than a myth? A mere excuse, actually, to avoid putting in the hard work required to achieve greatness. Today, I want to challenge that mindset. We've all been there, watching someone effortlessly ace a task or performance, thinking to ourselves, wow, I'll never be able to do that. It's quite easy to get discouraged and to assume that some people are simply born with a certain magical ingredient or a genetic gene pool that sets them apart from the rest of us. But the truth is that most of these quote unquote naturally talented individuals have put in countless hours of practice and dedication to develop their craft. So the idea that talent is the key to success is harmful and it's even a toxic myth and it's a mindset that can hold you back from pursuing your own goals. So I assume you don't want to go backwards in your journey. So how do we tackle this? Well, let's think about it. If we truly believed that talent was the only factor in achieving success, wouldn't we all just give up and accept our presumed limitations? It's quite a dangerous mindset that can lead to a lack of motivation and a sense of complacency. In other words, you'll just sit on your ass doing nothing, accomplishing zero and feeling all the worst for it. You might tell yourself, oh, I'm just not talented enough or, oh, that's way too hard. I'll never figure out how to do that. And therefore, you don't even bother trying. Now, this line of thinking not only limits your potential, but it also stunts your growth as an artistic individual. And not just as an artist, but as individuals in general. This perception or impression that talent is the primary driver of success is also kept alive by our society's obsession with overnight sensations and child prodigies. I mean, we hear stories about kids who can play complex musical pieces at the age of five or athletes who seem to have a natural instinct for their sport. But what we don't see is the countless hours of practice, the blood, sweat and tears, the dedication and perseverance that goes into developing those skills. This misconception is further reinforced by social media, where we're constantly bombarded with carefully chosen and thoughtfully organized highlight reels of people's seemingly effortless achievements. We compare our behind the scenes moments to everyone else's edited and polished performances, well, it's no wonder we feel inadequate or untalented. But the truth is, the only limits that exist are the ones we create in our minds. So when you label yourself as not talented, you're actually blocking your own potential. So instead of saying, I can't, maybe try saying, I'm still learning. Now, let's also talk about the following for a second. How do you feel when someone tells you you're so talented? It feels great, right? Do you perceive it as a compliment? Personally, I used to. It was almost a measuring gauge for my work. If someone said those magic words, I felt validated and that I'm actually good at what I do. But as we all know, art is so subjective. So I also started to realize that it wasn't so much my so-called talent they were praising, but rather an inward reflection of their own beliefs or limiting mindset, really. Let me challenge you here. Apply this to yourself and question your own reasons for saying, I'm not talented and I can't do that. What subconscious torture have you given yourself by doing that? actually put yourself and your abilities and opportunities in jail and threw away the key. I think it's about time to unlock your potential. 
So what does it take to develop a skill if talent isn't the determining factor? Well, the answer lies in the science behind skill development. Okay, yeah, getting a little nerdy here, but research has shown that deliberate practice, not so-called inborn or built-in ability, is the key to achieve expertise. Deliberate practice is focused, structured, and aimed at improving specific aspects of your performance. It's not just about putting in the hours, it's about putting in the right kind of hours, if that makes sense. Every artist starts somewhere. Do you remember your first sketch? It probably wasn't a masterpiece. What about your first painting? You probably didn't make it to a gallery, am I right? So what if instead of focusing on talent, you focus on growth? Having a growth mindset is important and very essential in developing skills. So what does this mean? It means embracing challenges. It means viewing failures as opportunities for growth. And oh yeah, being open to feedback and learning. It is about understanding that you will make mistakes. And please do not be afraid of doing so. It's part of the journey. Every mistake is a stepping stone towards growth. So when you adopt a growth mindset, you begin to see that your abilities are not fixed, but rather they can be developed and improved over time. One of the most inspiring aspects of skill development is that it's accessible to anyone. So that includes you. And it doesn't matter where you come from, your country of origin, your family background, academic skills, or your perceived limitations. With consistent effort and dedication, anyone can achieve skills that were previously thought to be out of your reach. And have you considered that every artist you admire has faced their own struggles and doubts? Now here are a few examples of some famous artists who put in hard work to achieve their skills or recognition. Vincent van Gogh, or Vincent van Gogh, as he is Dutch, so that's how you pronounce his name. He created over 2,000 artworks, but during his lifetime, he sold only one painting. And he struggled with mental health issues and faced constant rejection, but he continued to paint passionately. And then there's Claude Monet. Well, early in his career, Monet faced harsh criticism his painting, called Impression Sunrise, was rejected multiple times, leading to the term Impressionism, which was initially meant to mock his style. And then Pablo Picasso. Picasso experienced many failures early on, including his blue period. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. That was initially unappreciated. He continually evolved his style, leading to groundbreaking works that just changed the art world. These examples demonstrate that it's not about being born with a certain talent, but rather it's about being willing to put in the work. Now, on a more personal note, my journey as a painter has been one of growth and change. I didn't start out painting the way I do now, and I know I won't always paint this way in the future either. My determination to improve my skills drive me, and I invest time and effort into my craft. I remember my first animal painting that I shared on my channel about two years ago. It wasn't great, lacking in many ways, really showing my humble beginnings, but I was determined to paint animals and to paint them as realistically as I possibly could. So I put in the time, watched other artists, and learned from them. And I took that knowledge back to the canvas and applied it to my paintings. And over time, my art started to evolve. As a self-taught artist, I'm still developing my skills, learning as I go without formal education. But I clearly recall the moment I decided I would paint realistic animals. It wasn't just flowing out of my brushes into finished paintings. It wasn't talent that made these paintings appear and become. It was a decision a mindset, and a commitment to learn and evolve, which is what I'm still doing to this day. So what can be concluded from all of this? It's that hard work far outweighs, quote unquote, inborn or hardwired talent any day. 
Skill development is not about being born with a gift. It's about being committed to the process, embracing challenges and persevering through setbacks. You didn't come out of your mother's womb with a brush in one hand and a palette in the other now, did you? Have you ever thought about the fact that if you don't teach a child to read, they probably never will? How did you acquire that skill? Well, by repetition, application, and practice over and over again, and by making it more difficult as you grow in your understanding of letters, words, sentences, and paragraphs. So why is that an acquired skill, but a piece of art is considered talent? Yeah. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? So let's ditch the idea of talent and set fire to that concept and limiting mindset. Let's celebrate the effort, the passion, and the persistence it takes to create. Because in the end, art isn't about being talented. It's about being brave enough to express yourself. So the next time you doubt yourself, just remember, talent is just a myth. It's your commitment to practice, self-reflection, and believing in your journey that truly makes you an artist. Keep creating, keep reflecting, and let's redefine what it means to be an artist together. I don't believe in talent, and neither should you. If you like a more in-depth video about the block in of the eye and the beak of this ego, please do shoot me a comment and I'll happily make a video for you. And if you're interested in my painting adventures and tips and tricks for painting, check out my other videos. See you there. Stay happy, keep your peace and God bless you. Bye-bye.